Hey, what's up, family? Welcome back to God's Development Plan. It's your girl, Lolita. I am just coming back from an event in which I was wearing a head wrap, so you guys, please excuse my dried out, frazzled hair. <laughs> I started snatching things off as soon as I got in the house. Um, but anyway, I just was hopping on here because I was pondering something like, as I was doing my walk, which I call walking revelations, because oftentimes that's when the Lord will speak to me or things will get revealed to me. And I was really just pondering like our relationships with people, you know, and it's like, I feel like what was revealed to me was that oftentimes we can be disappointed by people or with people and it's not that it's not necessarily because of something that a person has done even though that's how we might perceive it right it's not necessarily the real truth of it isn't because of something they did um possibly but more so because of where we've placed the person and what i mean when i say that is is if this makes any sense because this is what i felt was given to me because i found myself feeling um like kind of very like disappointed like you know i was kind of ruminating over a disappointment with a person and people will disappoint you this is life they will you know i have disappointed people it's because i'm a human being no one is perfect but god what was really ministered to me is it has a lot to do with where we place people and identifying the purpose of people in our lives like can we identify the purpose that God may have placed a person in our lives for, if that makes sense. And when I, I was just kind of investigating my own feelings, you know what I mean? Just kind of looking inwardly because I'm like, oh, I felt so disappointed with this person. What came to me was why are you really disappointed? What you desired from this person, Lolita, and I'm gonna use myself for an example, isn't what you got daughter from that person because that's not the purpose that I put them in your life for. Can I say it a little louder for the people in the back? You will be disappointed if you don't know the purpose of someone in your life. Some of us like to say iron sharpens iron, but when the iron comes, we don't want to be sharpened. Uh, when the iron come to sharpen you, you don't like it. You know what I mean? Um, and it's like, it's just the same thing. Sometimes uh, we may look to a particular person for wisdom and then realize that that person cannot give you wisdom. They can give you comfort. They can give you a kind word. That's the role that they they have in your life. They're not there to give you wisdom. Then there's some people, they don't really have comfort or they don't really have softness that you may desire, but they have wisdom. They're here to, you know, to share, you know, their wisdom with you. Like, hey, don't do this because of X, Y, Z do that because of xyz and that's it you could take it or leave it that's it you know what i mean so it's kind of like i'm just i don't know i was just really thinking on that and i was like wow i think i have you know i have to accept i have to come into the understanding of who is in my life for what purpose accept that and move on and it's gonna help me because it's like i won't be so hurt you know what I mean? I won't be so disappointed because they'll be in the right slot. I just wanted to share that. Just It's, it's food for thought. What purpose does someone share in our lives? Are we, are, are we allowing them to live up to their purpose in our lives? Can we take our expectations off of people, right? Because uh, we really should expect from God because he's our father. He's the Alpha and Omega and he supplies all of our need. So we take our expectation off of people and understand what their purpose is and why God placed us in their lives and them in our lives. I just feel like it would save us all so much heartache if we paid attention to that. Does that make any sense? Can I say that? And if we really you know, put things in their right, proper place and proper perspective, okay? Love you guys. It's your girl Olita on God's development plan. Mwah.